After that, the camera to check. Smoke to block. Like planted. But did heavy you able to successfully get out of the site, wait for help. Now it's on to the retake. Another nebula gets put down over through heaven. Rifle finds first blood. And now here comes the retake attempt coming from the front side largely, but none of it finding really any success whatsoever. Daps the last player left alive. Does well to find one, but he's on 8 HP, and this would be pretty miraculous if he could pull off the 1v3 overall, and I think he's starting to feel the same way. Might just be kind of taking his time to maybe he could find one more, or maybe even two more exit kills up top through heaven. Now that the nebulas have faded away, it just comes down to at which point does he actually want to take a look and try to shall this? And it looks like it will be now. The spy cam has revealed him, though. And it looks like this point of contact may not come through whatsoever. Pure is going to try to push around the stairs, but Daps will hold this angle. You'll set. have been on a rifle now. Quite a bit of aggression coming through on the A, though. We've watched God, and we have a decent spot on the recon. So much information off the soul defender and exit will actually be allowed to get a spike plan off. Not bad at all. Exit need to work together here in terms of the two members alive. They're trying to figure out a post plant there. You know, would love to be able to get over into grass, into window. It's already been checked. You see the energy have covered their bases here. They know that's where the B post plant usually is. And for Aaron, and also for BCJ, working over towards the garage to try and flank on through. Now get a timing here. Oh, they see Daps. Daps gets the kill first. Now one versus four. Yeah, Daps, uh, he also sees BCJ, so he'll just hold this angle pretty free. But all in all, for x I mean, considering that you're in a three, you're actually in a pretty good spot. And if Sam gets a read off this little shoulder peeking he's doing, yeah, he there will be yeah, an opportunity for his teammates to come and help. Paranoia comes out. He will have a bit of the Astro Utility being used to try to clear some space, but it's Dwight who comes in first. He'll find the kill, and then immediately into the neural depth he goes. Tech's able to find one of his spots. Sam trying to stay alive. Beautiful stack to find a second kill. Not going to be a third. We did, and BCJ will clean out the site, and that will mean that we've got a 3v1 with a pretty free site for X set to plant, but they do not have the spike at the moment, so maybe an opportunity for Daps to make a play. This comes out of the timing of this peak. Not face the lurking Cypher. You see the Astra. Could still be the actual execute. Andrew's gonna get info. Slice is dismissed though. Really, really aggressive here to try and repeak it. It does get punished. Dex trying to clear a little bit of space, but here comes Pure other side. He actually dashes right into the site. You able to deal with him, and now all of a sudden, all of the hopes for Exit to execute day have just completely been null and voided. So they're gonna have to kind of default back to going over towards Beat Dex. He actually catches information just as he's putting out the trap wire. Aaron gonna clear a little bit of space on one side with the paint shells, the nebula on the other, and Sam is right on the other side of the corner. He finds the first. Going into the smoke is needed. Gonna find information on one more, but that's just too many energy members. The full 5v5 retake. This is where we did as well. Still got four stars available. It's plenty of util to work with. Mostly used for nebulas here, at least initially. Energy's defense starting to set themselves up. Got a long play around the back that's going to be Daps by himself trying to help him up a flank. A lot of ultimates, like you mentioned, that could be used. The Empress is coming through for it. Tank going to come out as well. Tech's now trying to clear space underneath with the showstopper. Not going to find too much, but goes into a dark cover, finds one, finds two, and EU, meanwhile, with the Hunter's Fury clearing the other side of the site, no, takes down two as well. Dwifo, the last player left. Defensively, the same rollout for EU. But Android is a part of this. The cyber cage goes down offensively for Exit. Waifo knows the player somewhere on the corner, but Android is able to play a verbal spam. Even with that, EU able to find the support. It's two easy kills, at least early on. Aaron trying to keep things dicey, but a lot of the presence that they were hoping for maybe has gotten taken off the table. BCJ now going to go into a Hunter's Fury. The commitment to A still coming through, really, from both sides. Stamps wants to challenge straight away, but if he does. Be fair, I don't know that uh, Exit are going to expect it either, but he'll just wait behind the wall for now. One Daps. enemy remaining. Oh, he finds one for free. Sam gets the other. Oh, no, everything went wrong there. Armor, so they'll be a little bit weakened up as far as what they have available to hold this, but with a 5v4, you feel pretty good about it, at least for now. Extra star here could be pretty good as well for... I was thinking maybe a grab, but because Puro's here, he'll get pulled in. There's plenty of stars. Look how many stars are placed directly in that link. It's going to be pretty tough. Set five alive here versus four. No Empress. They do, however, have Ultimus. They have the possibility to maybe wall back through the floor, but not going to happen. Son dropping down and dropping dead. Five versus three. And Energy do not look like they'll tank it. The only really useful ult coming. Energy give it to them for free as well. Son gets a kill. EU obviously got a kill now. Hunter's Fury. So they walk away. They don't give away a death. See all the stars being popped through. That's actually all the util gone. We just might have picked up some of those. bit of a time. That's Android gone. Oh. Two versus one. And Exit cleaned it up. They've rescued the reinforcements. And here it is. Wipe a holding strong finds two. Just nearly gets the triple. 
Tiger does not come through. Excess defense is now fully here. Spike is on the ground. EU trying to do something. Nice little jump peek from Aaron. And now over to the left click. Not going to get the best of Daps. Daps would have to find an angle for free here. And maybe he just does. Shots. Ah, a little dicey for both sides of BC. He's got a lot of his utility save, but the Boombot actually clips the wall. Touch there, so only he can use the pain shells. But Xset, they fully flood in from the opposite side. He for two. Aver gets the third. Everything clean and can... No cover onto A-Long so far. I mean... Vrigoth beats Jeremy, smoked out. Might have a trap over towards one, and it's going to be a one-for-one -one trade so far on eight cell. Ah, PCJ and Weeded, though. They completely shut down the play with a couple of the kills to follow up. Weeded stuck between a rock and a hard place, though, at the moment. EU not going to find the first kill. Reads the second, gets the reload on. Still a very possible post plant to three, especially as EU and Som find the two in front. Now it just comes down to one on the backside. It's by Polo. Press him through the middle of the map to find the first blood. Big gun here being picked up by BCJ. Checking for the second. I think X are going to go for it. Wifo almost caught with the spy cam out. A couple of the tags through the boxes will be enough for Aaron to take the secondary challenge and win the gunfight just down to some. Trying to stay alive in the dark cover. Wifo spams it. Gee, this feels like it's a must win round for you. And well, they do respond with one elimination onto Thwaipo, so we go 4v4, Aldrum denied. And actually, that was a really nice placement of the dark cover to make sure it didn't actually see much information. But meanwhile, X set with aggression through A, are able to find a couple eliminations, leading to what will be a 4v2 situation. Android with the Empress, you feel like, has to be the hero. And he will be stuck just kind of sitting behind Gong. Aaron considering this with the showstopper comes to the back, but no! Gets turned around, and Android finds him! Opportunity for the third, and he's good for it! One more up front, Som clutches, and NRG secure a two! But how about the from the shadow? Som's gonna stomp this all the way through the offensive or defensive spot. He comes away with not just one, but two off screen. Android stays hot, finds the third! NRG 5v2, now a 4v1 after the trades come out. And really for Thwaifo, good luck, have fun. Won't even get through Android. Unbelievable for NRG. Damage, they know he's there and now. Has to wait for the rest of the players coming through. Oh. NRG still have Som kind of just lurking around C. He's gonna have a bit of a time here uh, eventually. It's a beautiful shot guard for BCJ after the reveal had come through. It's now 4v4. Keep your eye on Som. Long lurk on your minimap up to the top of the defensive spawn. But here comes X and very quickly with the divide going down. Neural theft will also be spent. So now all of a sudden, Som will be revealed, but it's before finding a first kill. So good stuff there. EU into the Hunter's Fury, just delaying as much time as humanly possible. Even gets a connection on the Dwaipo, who's now down to about a single shot. But everyone's got to go through this divide. That's a scary thing to do. Recon Bolt comes out. We did trying to hold the line. Time becoming a problem. Android good for another double. He finds himself three again. Really onto the A site. Spike planted. Look at the post plant setup. You got a camera sitting through A long plus two NRG members. Make it now three as Android's going to be there with them. So except to be fair, we'll have a pretty free line of sight to get on initially. But it just comes down to can they actually get far enough forward to clear any space? Tex. Showstopper, able to find one. Keep his life through hell. The contestant should be up, but he's able to still find the second elimination. Good stuff there for NRG, and now Android in the Empress gets the next elimination, and it all falls onto the shoulders of Pure. And one HP, really nothing he could do. Will back away to save the rifle as all of a sudden. Gun, unfortunately. I don't know if, uh, yeah, no, Weeded hasn't picked up. Still into the Bucky for now. Still got three stars as well. One away from the Cosmic Divide. This could be huge. If Weeded gets one more kill and gets away with his life, again, just the threat of the Astral Wall changes how NRG right have here. to play this Pokemon. And NRG don't have a lot of util. That Bucky shot from BCJ, once again, fighting maximum value. Paranoia was just a touch too late. A lot of information, though, on where BCJ is. And Texas is going to take the high ground, but Weed is able to help him out. It's a Bucky Brigade! Nice BCJ job. and Weed! Here and Android coming up here. Sees the weapon. All for this, and this is what I'm looking for here. Next, remember, oh. Weeded coming on through. That's going to give the angle. Aaron and Weeded can work this together. They both kill onto Pure, who's holding a corner. Dax checks it, not able to find the elimination. Just comes down to EU. Not a lot of time to play with. Hoping for an elimination just to kind of. Ready to say, NRG have got this. NRG have put Xset into a situation where they're half buying. Xset probably lose the round in theory. In practice, they just out-bucky the other team, apparently. And then NRG, the fact that they know for sure that Thwai4 actually you know, walked over a trip over to the team. So here we go. Thwai4 has to hold on. He's got two kills, and that could be the round. 
could be, but Som's able to keep it alive. The Paranoia comes through again. Just a touch too late. Som thinking about it. Recon Bolt is here. And now all of a sudden, X-Sets defense making their way on. Ten the divide left. is in play. Last EU going to get caught on the side of the shot. Bolt. BCJ takes care of the spike carrier. It's a 1v1. No time for a plant. Aaron just holding a corner. Just doesn't even want to have anything to do with it. Down. He's going to stay alive in elbow, but he will be threatened. Weeded comes around the corner. 1v1 point of contact will be won by Weeded. So first blood, good for Xset. Now it comes out. How do you break apart the post plan? Android says by getting a couple of headshots, apparently. Takes down Fear. Immediately steps under the defuse for a moment. Hot Hands goes down, but the Nano Storm will shrug the initial defuse attempt away. Now here comes the Guiding Light. But opens up some space. Text is good for one. BCJ for the exchange. Sticking it is soft, but no! A couple of seconds too late. Does have to... Essentially concede control of Hookah. Oh, Early lockdown for Thwifle here in round number three. Will make a very oh, tough boy. decision to come through for Android. This is the guiding light. He will stay on site. Curveball just trying to deny any line of sight out of him. Specifically, he does find one kill, not a second. Avery able to clean things up for a two for one exchange. Leading to Xset having control of the B site. And that should lead to a pretty secure plan. Yeah, and Weeded had the only actual gun here as well. He had the Vandal and he's holding onto Hookah. Gets a free kill as Rexet. Four versus two, NRG in a bad spot here. I don't know, do they even want to play for this one? They're starting to run out of util as well. They look like they just want to run away. At least that's the plan for EU. Blinded. As the rest of the util from Exit, it's just going to make this too hard. Like 2v4, I think NRG just want to hold on to guns. Or at yeah. least play for maybe exits or something. Well, EU gets a little bit over aggressive with this challenge. Aaron there to punish. Stab. Contact. We'll find the first. But the hesitance comes from the fact that there are players sitting over towards Huka, and BCJ does make a bit of noise over through the elbow. So, Xset will wait for a peek from Daps here. There it is. He does get away, and everyone wow. should survive through the detonation, but still, it's Xset. There is a rifle available for Daps, which is massive. So, Xset getting away with that one for now, but they lose rifle very early. It's going to be 5v4 and NRG now up by one. Starting to get to a point where NRG, who, by the way, are a stronger defensive team on Vine than they are an offensive team. The numbers are still marginal, but the fact remains. They're going to be in a position here soon where they're going to have to once again have that conversation told the way that, hey, you're in a must-win round coming up. They do find first blood through the middle of the map, so an opportunity here to kind of get one back early. But Pure wants to get aggressive, has a boom bot to help free them up through elbow. Daps up top through Hookah, gives away his position, but stays safe. And that will mean that X has to find a way to clear some more space up. Actually huge by you, by the way, who was trying to run away into elbow and actually ends up getting a kill. Sees a player in Octagon, Tex will clean up Piero. This is going well. NRG have off the back of their early 5v4 with Wifer gone as well. It's just exit now too. They will have to start winning jewels somewhere. They can't even do it in Hookah. Daps with the free upgrade. Hang on, you're looking at it flawless. Until so Aaron finds one. Second around the corner. Spam shots holding down the trigger as EU gets the elimination. A big round to get that. Under Fury, showstopper offensively, but there also is. It's offensive. Hunter's here to come through. Daps, Android, they stay alive through all of the chaos and find two eliminations. Information on text saying that, hey, Trailblazer is coming from Lamps. I should be able to get over towards the Boombot on the chain. The flashback play, we did caught with the Guiding Light. will eventually fall. 3v2 situation. Spike now finally trying to make its way forward, but it is way too late. I don't even want to say a day late and a dollar short. It's like it came a year late and a bank account short or something of the nature. Even the flashback doing a bit of damage. Nowhere for Aaron to go. And a beautiful second round in a row for NRG. So funny. Dap's literally doing his best Steve McQueen cosplay there for the greatest game for sure. <laughs> Careful. 4v5 situation, like you mentioned. Weakened Arsenal here for Xset. Recalling bot. Som is really the only player that can read this play coming through mid, and he's oh, not even getting an opportunity. That's going to be another Bucky for BCJ to find value. Tex with a showstopper immediately. Tries to send it out. Cosmic Divide will go down. BCJ on the other side of the wall finds one, but not a second. Spike being planted will be down just in the nick of time, and an alarm bot that had been retrieved also plays. Swipe up finds another elimination. Andrew trying to get aggressive. EU there to help, and it just comes down to what he did. Poking in and out of the divide. Him versus Android for the 1v1. Information and oh. oh my goodness. Sure for X set will be happening over towards A. BCJ Hunter's Fury gonna come through. Also the seekers in the mix as they're trying to scout out maybe information off of full vaults. Here, stuck in an envelope. 
Gonna get the defensive. Hunter's Theory now coming through as NRG are feeling run. the pressure. And, well, Texas found one elimination. Ooh, EU like another. The lockdown goes down and... Well, that was all about trying to see if they could get the spike planted in the first place, which they're not able to do. So now it just comes down to Dwight, but what can he find with this Bucky? And now we'll actually swap away, finding himself a Vandal on the floor, but it's only short-lived. Comes down to a BCJ 1v4 situation, and it looks like NRG are very aware of where he is. This plant. Avery will still get this down. One defensive member still lingering through Hookah. EU playing by himself through the elbow. What is going to be the call? It's going to be a hot hands right on the we did. That's going to be the execute. Cosmic Divide goes up to split the site in half. Aaron on one side, the rest of X set on the other. No and that might be good enough. On. BCJ and Aaron for two. Now he's going to get the offensive hunter spirit to make sure no one's done with the fuse. But none of the arrows connect, and while they're out, it's Tex for a couple. 1v2 situation. Android's going to stick for this. You got to find a way to commit if you're BCJ. He's not even going to make a look. This time, it's not an exact automatic W for them. NRG looking for a bit Long of speed on B. Dwayfo, the only player here defensively for X set. Turret's destroyed. A lot of utility already dealt with as well. One player will hit the teleporter through Hookah. Two more kind of waiting behind a trap wire before they want to actually go. So Sam will get this off. Oh, you thought for free, but <laughs> gets pulled away. So an opportunity now for X set to stack through Hookah with numbers. They find the first one. Opportunity is kind of going the retake, but Dwayfo gets some help. A beautiful flash coming from it. Sob, he's able to find three, not gonna get the fourth. Just down to a 1v2, and no one knows where EU is. Now they do though, 1v1 with Pure. As the utility to play with, doesn't even see it. Oh, headshot out of nowhere. A huge lead that might become a little bit insurmountable. And actually this time, Master Prince over through the hooker and spotted the paranoid flies. And Dwayfo holds it down, three kills. How good has Dwight Fope been wanted the fourth? Maybe a bit aggressive to try to go for it against the likes of EU, especially considering that Dwight was on about a single shot worth of health. So a 3v2 situation, NRG will still get the plant off by way of some committing from the shadows to get over, but he will not get over to the lamp. Here finds the elimination, it comes down to EU again. 1v3 this time will not quick. Okay, blaze wall comes down, curveball through it. Android considering pushing, but will deny that. And this is all just a fake. And how yeah, about yeah. the push through? That'll be a weapon collected. Pure needs to shut this down before it really makes oh, things too dicey. Wow. And he will not be good for the kill of the Tex. And how about NRG? Two players cutting through Hookah, get through the B site. And the entire time it was a set play today. Yeah, that's a rare player. So you don't see teams do that very often, if at all. The Blaze Wall cutting B in half, then directly pushing into spawn. Picking up a free gun, a second free gun as well. A reminder, NRG had like, what, five upgraded pistols here? That's it? Yeah. The free plant oh now, God. they've swapped sides entirely. Exit, looking for a way in. They've already been spotted. Tex is finding so much value off the Vandal Abrin, though. Gravity well for one, we'll get a second running and gunning. 14 shots remaining in the mag. Tries to to toggle for a spike defuse. Gets some information here, watching over the top of him. Aaron, big kill here for three. Opportunity to get the reload off, but time is becoming a bit of a problem. And he loses his compadre if we did. Would have been a really difficult 2v5, but at the end of- stopper. Important round right here. And the showstopper actually converses oh for the God. defense out of pure R's pocket. Finds first blood. Gravity well slows dead. down the play. Oh, and actually beyond that PCJ, so much value off the shock darts. Oh no, this has all gone wrong for NRG. Lockdown will also be committed defensively. Android with the running back one and trying to get forward, but is denied the opportunity. And it comes down to a 2v4 situation. At least no one will get locked down and detained by that lockdown ultimate. But NIG, I don't know if their situation is really that much better. The three players that ult had ultimates are all dead. And this is like a half by around for Exit as well. So lots of gun upgrades. Running out of time. If the plant hasn't gone on through, that's maybe the only real thing that NRG is still working for them. Well, Pure does find his third elimination. And at this point, everyone knows where Sam is. And double stack coming through. Tries to go for the, this potential play. We will not see too much of anything as NRG's offense has made their way into Hookah. And Android's able to find first blood. That's huge. Again, they are on a thrifty round. Technically, Sam finds a second BCJ. Caught. Trying to get the weapon out. We'll only get one. That's a lot of weapons collected. An opportunity for NRG to 4v2 to set up a post plant as they see fit. Unless we did could come around this corner. He will not get the first elimination. Things looking good for NRG's attack. 
Absolutely. Just one alive now. Look, it is FlyFo, and he's been great, but Operator so far would need to actually swap that for a rifle if he wants any shot at 1v. Second, we did. Backing out of the site. Trying to work this Jump's with FlyFo from Elbow. Dex pushing forward. He's going to find information and take care of the lockdown. The trades will be there. 4v3, but lockdown denied. Guiding light coming through. Android a bit of a pickle. Run it back will be denied. And beyond that, we that actually finds EU just as the Phoenix teleport sends him back. Regrowth comes out to get a little bit of help shared. NRG's post point now down to two. But one of those players is Android. Here, moving with the showstopper. Oh, finds the ankle and takes down Daps. Now it's just down to Android. He's playing from the back angle. Halfway to fuse. Android for one. Android for two. Not gonna get the third. Gun and BCJ brings us back to a one round difference. Right here. Clutch round. Absolutely. Well, finds absolutely nothing, really. He doesn't even make it through the smoke. Dwight Bo, good for first blood overall in the engagement. NRG still pushing forward as if they still want to come in. Covering it. Sitting currently in a bit of smoke. Regrowth also in the play as everyone's trying to self sustain. Big gunfight win for Sam. Makes it to a 4v4. Defensive Hunter's Fury coming out. BCJ's been so good with these lately. He will find damage on to one. But that will be enough space where Sam can still plant behind it. Yeah, it's not going to deny the plan at all, which is the important thing here for NRG. They hold on to three alive, trying to get anything done at this post point. No one's off site. An excess stacking up pretty hard. The only really low member here is Weeded, who can't self heal. Pura has an angle, might be able to get a kill. Android's just on the other side as well, and everyone else coming through from an elbow to end. Trades overall, but Pure's able to find elimination. Swipe over behind. They get a bit of a pinch, and Pure finds the snap on quick shot for a second. Oh my god. She dies as he's batting for the rest of the team. It's a three man squad going to elbow. And like you mentioned, Pura holding on to the operator. They expected probably that maybe Pura dies there, but even if Pura dies with the operator over towards spawn, the rest of the members going towards elbow can win it from all the nano swarms and stars and all that. That's what allows energy to get on the site despite all Top stops coming up here though is it's gonna be mostly a save. Pure doubles down, showstopper, able to find the third. Oh boy, and it all comes down to one. I'm not, yeah, and that's the thing. Even in the post plant, conflict to buy would force EU to really have to play awkwardly. He's been spotted by the turret now, and it should Standing be taking ahead. too long for Exit to win this. Found them. Well, Econ bolts will be traded. I have the spike. The divide does come through. EU will just sneak away the spike and then immediately run back over towards B. But like you mentioned, as soon as he makes this play, it should be pretty well figured out. And how about it? Through the teleporter, and although EU finds the first.